This display is about dazzle painting, which was a radical type of camouflage that was introduced in the First World War and fairly late on in the First World War because merchant ships were being torpedoed and being lost at sea in alarming rates. And there was one gentleman who had a lot of experience working in submarine patrols and this idea came to him that what if rather than having ships which are just either painted black or grey, well what if there's a way that you could break up the outline and break up the shape of it that actually you cause confusion to the U-boat officer and that they are unable to tell the direction of the ship or even its size or which which end is which. The artist's name is Norman Wilkinson and he came up with this idea that you could break up the outline of the ship using different kinds of painterly devices. For the first time, we're going to see our two dazzle-painted ship models together. That's the HMS Sefton and the SS Wardrake. It certainly wasn't just black and white. I mean, the HMS Sefton that we've got is an example of you know, really successful black and white and grey colouring, but the SS Wardrake is another fantastic example of when you get uh, the effects which are created by all these different kind of colours like blues and greys and black and so on. Wilkinson never blatantly said, you know, I'm taking my idea from the natural world. It was other artists or other scientists who had made proposals to the Admiralty, you know, such as Graham Kerr from Glasgow University, who would say, you've got to see how animals in the natural world survive due to their coloration, and that's what we have to apply to ships. It's not a giant leap to think that the protection of the ships from predators is exactly the same as protection of animals from their predators. So we're going to have a zebra, we're going to have a ringed plover, there's a whole host of different butterflies and moths and jewel beetles. These are displaying disruptive coloration, which is almost exactly the same devices that you'll find in, in dazzle painting. So, for instance, the butterfly might have you know, certain kinds of stripes on it, or it might have these eye spots and these wing spots, which are designed to protect it from attack from predators. So in many, in much the same way, as the dazzle ships are using these kind of devices to protect them from predators and their predators being the German U-boat officer. Well, we've got two works of art in the display as well and these are representative of some vorticist art and some cubist art. These were created just around the time that Wilkinson would have been having his ideas about dazzle. They really are just about different ways of seeing different ways of interpreting the world around us and they're done in such a way that they're actually quite confusing. They kind of distort the everyday world that we see. So if they're landscapes, it's not instantly recognisable that they are a landscape or a still life. We certainly hope that people will be quite surprised when they see you know, a ship model juxtaposed with a life-size zebra. Both these ships were built in Glasgow. The HMS Sefton was built by Barclay Curl, and interestingly enough, the SS Wardrick was built by D&W Henderson, and they occupied a site which was just across the water from the new Riverside Museum.